Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a platypus. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Make this circle bigger than the first circle. Don't place the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. On the left side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the floor marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be about half the size of the first circle. To the left of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the bill. Connect the small mark to the head using longer lines to finish the guide for the bill. Pay attention to the size of the bill in relation to the head. Under the first circle, draw a long angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line in the middle to indicate a joint. Under the circle on the right, draw another angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Connect the head to the body using a couple of lines to create the guide for the neck. The neck should be wide. Connect the body circles using long curved lines to finish the guide for the torso. Make the top line more curved than the bottom line. On the right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of the tail in relation to the body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye near the top right edge of the head circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Shade the rest of the eye but don't overlap the small highlight circle. Use a valley that's lighter than the pupil to shade the eye. Draw a series of short strokes around the eye for fur. To the right of the eye, draw a long thin shape for more fur and the ear. Use short strokes as you draw this shape for a furry texture. The right side of this shape should overlap the edge of the head circle. Darken the arc on the left side to create the shape of the bill. Draw the bottom edge of the bill higher than the initial guideline. Extend this line so that it's inside the head. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Close the shape on the right side using a curved line. Draw another curved line on the right side for the top part of the bill. Follow the edge of the head circle as you draw this line. The right side of the shape should be close to the eye. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. 
Inside the main part of the bill, near the top, draw a short curved line and a small circle for the nostrils. Darken the bottom edge of the initial arc for the lower half of the bill. Make this shape thinner than the initial guideline. Draw a long curved line on the right side for the bottom part of the bill. Follow the edge of the initial head circle as you draw this line. Darken the outer edges of the initial guidelines to create the shape of the head. Make the lines longer for the neck. Use the angled line on the left side as a guide to draw the front leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg and foot around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide. The shape of the foot should be similar to a square. When you get the shape of the leg and foot right, darken the lines. Use short strokes as you darken the leg for a furry texture. Inside the foot, draw a few thin pointy shapes for the toes. Make the toes on the sides smaller than the toes in the middle. The toes will overlap each other at the top. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Darken the initial shape to create the webbing. Add a short line to each toe to emphasize the nails. Use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the hind leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg along the path of the guideline. Draw a series of short angled lines on the left side for the toes. Make the toes short and pointy. Draw a short angled line on the right side of the foot for the venomous spur. Darken the bottom edge of the initial circle for the leg. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Darken the shape on the right for the tail. The shape of the tail should be wide. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade the bill using a dark value but leave a thin strip blank for a highlight. Use a dark value for the section around the eye and ear. Shade the body using a medium value. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a light value for the underside of the body for the lighter fur. Shade slowly and evenly for a smooth texture on the fur. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Add a darker value along the bottoms of the shapes for shadows. Shade the webbing using a dark value. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the platypus. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. 
Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.